All right, folks, it is I, Hellgear, and it's time to do a little bit of a discussion. But before I get into the discussion, you still have time to get this wonderful little fishing pack where Eudora goes to land the big one. All right, then. Now I want to talk about the Air Museum event, because... First and foremost, I want to apologize for not giving you a third part of this. I got uh, under the weather, and yeah, that just didn't happen. But in any case, let's throw out the discussion here. And Community Manager Hellgear isn't going to say a piece on this matter. But Player Hellgear has plenty to talk about. A lot of things when it came to this event went very, very wrong. Can I sell some stuff? I can. Now, oh. Stop this and then stop these. All right, now let's talk about this event, shall we? Many people actually like this event. You know, the fact that it was the Air Museum was rather cool. Now, not everybody was happy with this event. But there are people who did enjoy the storyline. There are players out there, and I've gone through multiple Charlie Brown communities, including ones that do play Snoopy's Town Tale, and I bring this to you. Some players out there were not happy with the storyline of the Air Museum, saying that at certain points it was almost predictable. Now, here's the thing. All right, and, and I'm taking this out of <laughs> my conceptual storytelling classes in college. Like, let, let's just talk about that. Actually, let's go, let's go into this for a while. We're going to go into this view for the moment. Now, <sighs> first and foremost, stay cool. Like, it's starting to heat up now. Getting readings of 105 today. Just to give you a little bit of a heat sense here. Anyway. When it comes to writing a story. Whether it's for a game, a movie, a cartoon, whatever. That is not an easy thing to do. You know. You have to know exactly where you're going when it comes to storytelling. You know, if the story isn't good enough, well, it's going to be problematic. Like most bad stories, oh, especially in these movies, I don't even have to tell you about this. We got movie reviewing YouTubers out here. I'm sure you already know about one that's a virtual tuber. <laughs> We know his name. He's named after an extinct feline. You know him. I'm not going to say his name. He's not getting free publicity on this channel. Because I sure as hell don't get free publicity on that dude's channel. But in any case, let's go back to this. Not everybody can write a story about the events that happened in the Air Museum, especially while using the character basis of the late, great Sparky himself. All right, that's, that's just a given. You know, that part is not easy. So, if you didn't like the story, hey, opinions are like assholes, everybody has one. <laughs> but, not everybody's opinion 
is right. I had no problems with the story of this. Even though in light of everything that's been going on, I haven't been able to finish like all story quests. But the story of the Air Museum event was the least of the uh, dissatisfying things going on with this event. And I have to talk about what you see here. As a community manager, one of the things that I like to do is I like to go through communities, see how everybody is enjoying the events. And if I can, you know, take opinions about this. And sometimes opinions of other players are just sand grain worthy, you know. But there are those opinions that make perfect sense. And one of them has to do with the size of items. Take a look at the airplane hangers. All right. And this, this is something you probably see me do this in previous events. But I actually measure out how this stuff is okay so let's talk about these planes for a moment all right look at the measurements of this plane oh my goodness i was off wow i was actually off when i wrote that wrote about this to the team you know this the snoopy airplane is a reach when it comes to its size. Look at how it is. It's six squares wide by 11 squares long. I thought it was four, I said it was four squares wide by 11 squares long when I told the development team, which is a reach. Like when you set up stuff like this, and this is for the um, propellers, right look at how close i had to put these things in you know if you were to go to an airport and see planes in an actual airport i don't know how many of you actually go flying across country or from town to town on commercial airliners or whatever but you can't pack airplanes in this close you know you just can't this is bad Aesthetically, it looks bad. And it's almost like a blue version of what's in the hangers. Now this hanger. Let me give you just the hangout about the scene, okay? The scene is 15 squares by 15 squares okay now I'm going to move this airplane hanger the airplane hanger compared to an event And as you can see, this airplane hanger is almost the exact same size as the event scene itself. Mind you, did I, I can, look at this. All right, look at this. You're seeing it right here. This is not edited. This is just me tapping and placing it here. Look at that. Give or take a couple of squares, the airplane hanger is almost the exact same size as the museum scene. This is bad, folks. Like, you've probably heard me say this multiple times in past events, but I'm going to just say it like this. This shit's too big. It really is too big. When you have 
something that generates crafting material that is almost the exact same size as the scene, that is bad business. Now, mind you, when you get the pass and people, and then all of the little uh, bundles for this stuff, you end up with around six or seven of these guys. And this was a valid complaint, right? You have an item spawn that's almost as big as the scene where everything is supposed to happen. And you're not supposed to have that. You know, this is not Honey, I Blew Up the Town. This is not Giant Land from Super Mario Brothers 3. You know, we may like things bigger in Texas, but uh, <laughs> in Snoopy Town, this is bad for a couple of reasons. The main reason is size and scale. Hold on, I'm trying to fight off a sneeze here. Okay. Size and scale play a very important part of the items when it comes to everything in this game. Whether they spawn resources for you to craft, I, craft, or if it's something for a character action, like the paper airplane monument for Ethan. You know, some people didn't even know that this was actually Ethan. I knew right out the bat, you saw me when I did the first episode of this event. I knew this was Ethan right out the gate. But there were players that didn't know that this is Ethan. Is that bad? No. One person suggested that when you have the goal pass, like outfits just say, okay, this is this character's outfit. I'm kind of hit or miss about that. Because you should be able to tell who each person is. There have been players, and we got to get back to the, si the size and scale thing, all right? The planes, for example. Planes don't, planes aren't supposed to be this close, aren't supposed to be this tightly packed. They're not even this tightly packed if you go to the airport to fly to another country or whatnot. They have plenty of space, they have plenty of hangars or concourses or whatever. Oh, excuse me. Not courses, gates. We we gotta we gotta use proper airplane terms here. You'll have to forgive me. It's been a it's been quite a long time since I've flown on a plane. You know, I, I normally go to the airport to pick people up. Like the last time I went to the airport, it was during the holidays to grab my nephew. And I've mentioned that part already. All right, you, you just drive up to where you pick them up at the outside. Like when you go into an airplane, you go through, you pass through the security, you go through the metal detectors, and you go to the gate where you board onto the plane. And then when you land somewhere, you're either going to baggage claim to get your stuff, you have to go through concourses and whatnot, depending on your airport, blah, blah, blah. But size is important because things have to look right. And that leads to the next part, which I was going to with these planes, and that's aesthetics. Again, I'm not supposed to be able to tap the pack in six planes like this with one square of room of difference because... <laughs> Going back to size and scale, I don't have the room. And I wasn't the only one that didn't have room to place things in this event. There have been players 
who have placed things in this event, they had no space. It was so discouraging to certain players that they actually stopped playing the event. Think about that for a minute. All of my viewers out there, think about that for a minute. When players decide to stop playing the event because the space that they have just isn't enough for big ass things. I've already shown you how these hangers are the exact are almost the same size as this event scene as the air museum itself. You know, I've been saying this for a minute that scenes and spawns have to come down in size. And as you can see in my little area, I did the best that I could just with four of each. And I'm going to just go over to my airport and I still have to expand on this shit, right? Because Peggy Jean's over here. No, my airport. All these hangars and stuff, I'm going to have to redo this airport. Probably even move it so I can fit as much of this stuff as possible. The helicopter, everything else. And that's bad. Let me grab the Beagle Bucks while I'm going through all this. Space is a very important thing when it comes to... I didn't even get Franklin's outfit. That's not Franklin, it's Milo. But I, I didn't even get everybody's outfit. Like, I missed the sale because the $10 bundle actually went on sale. And when I went to go purchase it on the same day of the sale, they gave up the little uh, multi-box thing. And it's like, oh, I missed it. And it sucked. Heather didn't get her, get her flying dress. Right? That's bad. I guess I'll start freeing people up now. When item spawns are too big for players to put things down, it's discouraging. As I just said, Players stopped playing the event because they didn't have the room to put things down. And as a community manager, when I read stuff like this or I hear players like, man, this stuff is too big. I'm just done. That's disheartening for me. As another player, I'm like, you got to be serious here. Like. Because this stuff is too big, you're done playing it? Other people have said that they're selling these hangers. So let's see how much you can sell this for. 300 coins. That means 1,800 coins out of six of these hangers. How much do the planes go for? Same price. Okay. So 3,600 coins for that stuff. You know, they sell this stuff because they need the room. And it's bad. You know, my hope for the rest of the events is that we don't have to deal with giant ass spawns that are as big as the scene. 
You know, this stuff has to be detailed, yes. But don't make it huge. It's all shit, man. Nobody's going to like this. And this event was testament of that. You know? The hangers that produce the fuselages, which are crafting material, are too big. I don't have places to put this shit. So I'm just going to stop playing this event altogether. You know, storyline, sure, the storyline, whatever, man. But storyline is nothing. You know, you can whine about the storyline being bad, fine. Nobody cares. You're just going to fast forward through the speeches anyway and craft all the materials to clear the tasks. And don't act like you don't do that. To all you other players out there. You know I don't do that. I read this shit. <laughs> right? I read this to you guys. In character voices whenever applicable. But if there's one thing I don't like. And this is just me personally. I don't like having to put something down. And it takes up a big chunk of room. Now if I'm on the design team. You wouldn't have a spawn that's almost as big as the as the event scene. That's just not happening on my watch. But I'm not on the art team at Pixel doing these events. You know, I'm not in charge of writing the stories for these events. You know, I look through the communities, get opinions and show off my experiences with this game. Case in point, as we wait for the July event, hopefully it doesn't have to deal with fishing and camp, because that would kind of suck. I'm hoping that we get stuff where we can manage space. Then the last piece was, like the usual stuff, Certain characters that should have been used didn't get any play. Now, I'll admit it. I would have liked to have Fifi in a different outfit or even incorporated Peggy Jean's airplane outfit as part of this to actually do something that you could use for this event, which you couldn't, unfortunately. Those are, those are the breaks. You know, you can't always get what you want. You get what you need as the song goes. But we didn't need huge ass item spawns that are almost the size of the event taking up our space. You know, not everybody has the real estate to put all of this down on a plot of big grass. Oh, well, you can just only put down so many. Yeah, you try crafting a good majority of these event tasks and you only have two of each spawn that's a rough road i want everybody who has been playing this event to share their experiences in the comment section below leave your thoughts of how you believe this should have went if you shared any of the opinions of things being too damn big or the story lane wasn't this wasn't to your appealing or certain characters should have had uh, interaction with this. Leave it in the comment section below. And do me a favor as well in the comment section below. Rate this air museum event on a scale of zero to five. And explain why you gave that rating. I would love to hear this particular reason and yeah that's all i'm going to say on this hopefully when the next events happen for the rest of the duration of this game they'll pay the development team will pay attention to size because frankly they can't have another repeat of this huge ass shit they really can't especially when 
players are not playing the event. They literally quit the event because they have no room to place things that are needed. That's bad for business.